All right, guys, welcome back to another one. We get a late start to the day. You can't see we're inside a shop. I'm going to tell you where we're at in just a second. It's almost 8 o'clock at night before I'm starting this video, which is unheard of. However, a little road trip today. We are at Johnson Knife Works here in Tilbury, and you probably recognize the owner of Johnson Knife Works. That would be Tyler. Yeah, Tyler, the guy you've been seeing in the videos from Road Duck Hunting. He also makes knives. I'm gonna leave all the social media links down below, his uh, Facebook page, as well as his email address. The plan today is he's got a very large meat cleaver. That would be uh, this little fella here that he's been working on. He's gonna put the handle on this. And also, I'll show you some of the other knives that he's got midway, and I'll show you a couple knives that are done. But today, we're putting a handle on the meat cleaver. Before we get going in today's video, I'm not sure what order these are actually going to come out, but I put a lift in my truck, or sorry, a leveling kit in my truck the other day. After, after watching the video, I realized I did not show you the Rough Country leveling kit. So here it is. And again, so a big thanks out to Jason from Cunningham Tire uh, for putting that in for me. I appreciate that very much. Stay tuned for tires, and again, don't tell Jen. I should also tell you that these are made by hand from scratch. There's nothing pre-bought, there's nothing pre-sanded, anything like that, nothing pre-shaped. Everything is from a piece of steel that Tyler tempers, and I don't know all the terminology he does, it tempers and gets it ready to be worked, and everything is shaped, sanded, and put together here, and then he ships them out all over, but very nice work. I've got a couple of these knives at home. Most of home. All right guys, here's a small sample of what Tyler's been working on. And like I said today, we're gonna put the handle on this meat cleaver. I think the sanding might be done on the belt sander. What have we got so far? Well, well we're not done on the belt sander. My mistake. We're not Don't done. put that in. <laughs> All right. The profile of the steel to the handle. And then you can fine tune the shape of it. And then you do the contours. I'll lay it back on this and kind of rotate it. To get the contours to round off the edges, what yep. you're saying? Yep. But I gotta put it on the disc or the drum sander to get into that little spot right there. And that's that's pretty much all you use that spindle sander for? Yeah, it's basically just for finger grooves and stuff okay. like that. All right.
we've done so far is you're trying to get a little bit of the finger inlet here. Yep. Okay, so then we're gonna go back on here now and you can do the edges on this. Just yeah, we're gonna round it off so you can actually grab onto it okay. instead of holding the brick. Send it. say that was this thing weighing as much as it does that you want a big handle or is it dependent on the size of somebody's hand uh with this you want a big handle but i am gonna have to shave that down a bit to make the profile a little bit skinnier because like when i put my hand around it my fingers don't really come all the way around i want a better grip on it so you want a full grip yeah i'll take about three sixteenths off of the sides I made it thick so that I had room to, to work with. Okay, Ty, so I'm looking at some of these knives here. What happened to the uh, edges on there? So I brought them to a heat treater and... This is before you were treating them yourself? Uh, I had a heat treater who closed, so I had to go to a new place that I'd never been to. And they heat treated them, but they didn't temper them. So they got them super hard and then didn't temper it, so they were very brittle. So that's just from sticking into a log and then pulling it out. It broke the tip off, the blades all shattered basically. Now, are, are these are these fixable? Oh yeah, yeah. I can, uh, they have to be tempered. Like this one has to be reworked down. The whole bevel's gotta be reprofiled, so it'll be more like a, like a short sword instead of a big machete. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. They're, they're still usable at some point. Yeah, like the, 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 they'll look a little different, but yeah, like this one I tempered myself, and it should be right around fifty-eight to sixty Rockwell. So like it won't, the tip's not gonna break off. Like if I did that with, well, I have done that with these, and it just breaks the tip off. Let's see. Okay, so we got the, this is the basic shape. Yep. And what happens from here? You got, you do this, finish the sanding by hand? Yep, it's... I'll hand sand it, probably up to a thousand grit. And then uh, stain it, and then get a beeswax. It's like a combination wax and seal it up. Okay, and what about an edge? Now, do you razor sharp the edge, or is it With from... this, it'll probably just be uh, a steel, like a knife steel, okay. to give it a bit of a, because you don't want them sharp. You want it sharp, but it's like axe sharp, not oh, gotcha. knife sharp. All right, guys, so next time we see this, it's going to have the finish put on it and the beeswax put on it and the edge put on it, and then we'll try it out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our visit here to Johnson Knife Works. If any of you are interested in picking up one of these knives, obviously you want one with a handle on it, but these are all handmade, as you can see. Tyler makes them by hand, does it himself. Um, he's heat treating them himself that way he knows that they're done properly so you don't end up with something like that anyway that's all I got for today's video hope you enjoyed it I want to thank Tyler for having me over so I can video some of this and kind of show you what's going on behind the scenes uh, it is a small business and we like to support small business which is why I'm here anyway that's all I got hope you all enjoyed it and don't forget to enjoy the outdoors.
later. Alright guys, we are out. Oh, that didn't come out right. We are out of the closet here, folks. <laughs> There's no closets, trust me.